New rules come into effect today to improve the labeling of halal foods. Companies will now have to identify the organization who certified the product. And while it's being called a step in the right direction, some in the Muslim community say regulation needs to go even further. The CBC's Ron Charles explains. At Iqbal Halal Foods, what's on the shelves and at the butcher's counter has been prepared according to Islamic law, making it halal. For the meat, that means before being slaughtered, each animal was blessed and put down by hand. Shoppers like Salim Dalal expect that if something is not halal, it won't be labeled halal. That would be bad because it's a question of your faith. And if, uh, if you end up eating meat that wasn't halal, uh, depending upon the, how strongly you feel about it, it can, be, it can have a lot of ramifications. But up until today, anyone could slap a halal logo on anything without breaking any rules other than the religious ones. Now, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency requires that food labeled halal has to have been certified by an organization responsible for making sure it meets Islamic dietary rules. Salima Jivraj is founder of Canada's largest annual halal food festival. She's concerned the new rules don't provide a way to determine who gets to certify food halal. The issue is that there is no certifying body, unified certifying body that certifies the certifiers. So anyone can become a certifier. But Imam Omar Subedar says he understands why the government didn't get involved in overseeing the organizations that certify halal food. He works with one of those organizations himself. The government definitely can't do anything about that, simply because there are differences in the interpretation of halal. Uh, but uh, I think what would help is that the community gets together and forms one standard. He also expects food companies to seek out the most reputable organizations in order to take part in the growing market for halal food, already estimated to be worth more than a billion dollars annually. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.